Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-show for 256 byte high-end intro that we're about to see in a few minutes. I have with me Helmut and Tomcat to talk a little bit more about what this category is all about. Uh, Helmut uh, has started the demo scene around 2013, been doing a lot of size coding stuff, is a size coding fanatic. And uh, Tomcat founded Abaddon uh, back in the 90s and then he came back to activity around 2016 and has been doing a lot of 256 bytes, 512 bytes, and 1K intros. DOS Spectrum Windows, he even won in 2019 the revision 256 byte intro compo with seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, which was a quite good entry. Thank you for that, Tomcat. So, the typical questions that we've been asked everybody, what can you tell us about this category and or what makes this category appealing to you? So, Helmut, what can you tell us about this category? Uh, it is the reference category when it comes to size coding. Uh, to the untrained eye, it might be just one of the two to the power of x categories, but it's, it's like the, 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 how do you call it, the hanging sign, like the, the shield for the demo scene. Yeah, the most it's, known category for size coding nowadays. Yeah. And um, people might not know this, but I'm actually, compared to other guys, very new to the scene, and I have here the mail which got me into it. It was like two roller in 2009, five days after he released his, his pulls. And I wrote, I'm very impressed by your 256 byte demo. I remember back in the days, I typed assembly stuff, blah, 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 and with some inter interrupt 10 mode 13, so I wrote what I still know. And I was just asking him how to compile it because I tried it with Microsoft Visual Studio and it didn't work, so he helped me with that one. <laughs> so this is my, my um, the reason of for my existence in the demo scene is this 256 byte intro and I can say nothing more than that. So I am here because of this category. This is what I can say about this. Okay, Tomcat, what about for you? What can you tell us about this category? What makes this category appealing to you? Oh yeah, uh, in the last four uh, years, I wrote about uh, uh, 40, 256 bytes intros. Wow. So you can say, yeah, this is my main race uh, <laughs> at the demo scheme. So it, it's, uh, it's the most important category for me, of course. Uh, I, I cannot uh, really wrote a shorter intro. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I, I like the uh, a bit uh, <clears throat> longer ones, uh, but the most comfortable, yes, this, this, this is the category for me. Okay. Uh, what can we expect to see, or what, what do you expect to see uh, on the intros on this category? You were talking about uh, not being able to go lower than this limit, Tomcat. Uh, do you think there is no room for smaller size to do like something that is actually uh, conceptual, beautiful? Uh, so, w what do you expect to see on this category? Yeah, I think uh, the shorter ones uh, uh, has some good visual or good music mm -hmm. but not all of them or the, the shorter intros has uh, usually just sound not really music and uh, what my expectations uh, I think there will be a lot intros a lot entries 90% mm -hmm. uh, for the DOS and uh, some for uh, the other, 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 other uh, yes, uh, half of the intros will have music, uh, and uh, points. <clears throat> uh, maybe one arm prod from Kummel, something very stylish from Sensen style, uh, something moody from Ionic, uh, multi part intro from. Marco design. I'm not sure about you, Helmut, <laughs> because so many other categories, uh, yeah. <laughs> which you, I think, prefer than this one. Um, and who knows? Maybe some thing from Digimind or Rolla or Frag. Uh, it, it would be a kind of surprise. I'm curious but... how many new people will have participating since it's been so much announced uh, around the demo scene. If we are not, if we are going to have outside the normal names that we always see. Uh, anyways, Helmut, up to you. What, what do you expect to see on this compo? Uh, 
So, like for this combo, I expect to see uh, more than for the usual uh, um, demo parties, maybe with the exception of revision. Uh, as Tomcat, I hope, I really hope that uh, the old uh, gurus like Rola and Frank and the Diggy Mind also contribute something. And as well, I hope to see something, some, some new faces because uh, everybody can enter the scene. And especially now that we have uh, our Discord and the information is widely available how to do things. And we are available for questions also. You can reach out and ask us uh, how to do it. So I expect to see now for this demo party a lot and in the future even, even more. So um, I, I don't know if you remember, uh, PS, we talked about that in an earlier demo show of, of yours, mm -hmm. like the, the Mystery Demo Scene Theater. And I'm still um, I'm I'm doubling down on on this uh, on on this um, prognosis. Like the building pieces are there. You can do sound in 16 bytes. You can fracture it in 16 bytes. You can do raycasting in 32 to 64. Like everything is there. And so it just nobody in, uh, um, anybody now needs to enter and produce a very nice setup of, of all the things. Like everything has been done. It has been shown that it's possible. So somebody out there with um, with uh, abilities to master the technical stuff, but also the stylistic stuff, should enter and like blow our minds. So mm -hmm. I'm still, still waiting for the prophet to come. And he has not been arrived. Looking forward to that. Uh, this is the high end category, so we we are going to have not not as many old school platforms, but also new stuff. I think Tick80 is also included in this category. Uh, we asked a few people what questions they would like to see answered. Uh, Alia asked, would be interested to hear thoughts of you guys uh, between compiled versus interpreted uh, languages stuff. So Helmut, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? So um, it's funny, we had this discussion recently on the Discord, like how can you compile code for, for example, for, for DOS? And it, it's pretty much impossible. I mean, you can have, uh, you can get a rough impression from a compiler how he would handle like your code in C++ to produce assembler code, but the assembler code as of now is like really, really bad. So that's not an option. But um, if it's like uh, from, from assembled, like manually assembled versus interpreted, it's a kind of different story because there's now the, the DIG80, and this can uh, work with interpreted languages like, for example, JavaScript or Lua, and uh, for the DIG80, it can be compressed. So there is a spot where you can write with a normal normal language <laughs> and use compression tricks, and then the outcome will fit in 256 bytes, and the result will be quite appealing, quite nice. So. Yes, there's a spot, but um, as of now, like um, I think uh, Super Rope would agree with me. He's not here, but I think he would. Like the um, the top player is still like the 256 byte DOS. So I would say, as a final remark, maybe that still um, interpreted is not as powerful as if you hand coded it uh, yourself. So there's the possibilities um, are on the advantage are on the assembler side, but the huge huge advantage is that it's the language that like a normal programmer can write, and it's much more easy. Like if I think about, for example, I can write something like Zenus off and bracket off and then cosinus and tangent and whatever, and just write it all down and finish my line and I have the code. And if I compare this to the very painful FPU programming of DOS, then there's an advantage. Like you can really, really quickly have a result with interpreted languages. But I still don't know like if there's anything more than, than the TIG-18. Besides, like a normal JavaScript production for for the web browser, mm -hmm. which is. I mean, size coding in JavaScript was a lot of popular as well with the one K compo that happened and the, a lot of that kind of stuff. So it's interesting to see other fantasy consoles in this case to also take that spot. Uh, Tomcat, do you agree with Hel what Helmut said? Do you have anything else to add? Yes, mostly. Uh, I haven't tried. I, I haven't done any road for TIC 80, uh, but I think every fantasy computer and every interpreted uh, size coding is very similar. Uh, every <coughs> size coding, like JavaScript-ish. Um, so me, it's almost the same mm -hmm. <laughs> or very similar to do this. Uh, and I prefer the real computer uh, size coding for assembler. Mm -hmm. uh, these are more different, for example, ZX Spectrum uh, and, and PC, uh, and, but the Pico uh, or the TIC-80 is very similar to do. So mm -hmm. 
I'm not familiar with it and I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we had another question, but it's quite similar. Uh, it was asked by Bod, uh, because I see a lot of DOS stuff and some TIC-80, uh, but as one who has never taken a close look to the 256-byte scene, I wonder if it's possible to do stuff with more modern graphics and what kind of platforms would that require? Helmut, do you want to take this one? Yeah, like I said, uh, the TIC-80 can have this uh, advantage of being interpreted, and as the host computer is like um, theoretically unlimited, you can just execute your scripts and write ray casters and uh, ray tracing even. And you know, when time comes and computers get more and more um, more powerful, then that will work. I mean, for the TIC-80, it would be a very low resolution. But also, on the other hand, um, I recently just for for uh, for the fun of it. Uh, decoded one of the recasters for, for MS-DOS in 64 bytes and just made every instruction which is not um, suitable for 8-bit low-end computers. I just made them disappear. I removed everything which has multiplications, divisions, and I tried to remove uh, the recasting loops. And there was something coming out which is a bit longer, uh, of course, but uh, very much more potent when it comes to, to resources. So the platform for modern graphics can still be a very low one when it comes to 256. I mean, just imagine if you have a 40 byte, 40 byte ish code for MS DOS, which does recasting, and you extend it a bit, you have 80 bytes, and it still does the same thing, but it's very, very much faster. Then I think there is a bit of potential that not only the modern fantasy consoles, but also the older computers can can do stuff like that. And depends what you do with modern graphics, like if you. Uh, we also started seeing more high resolution stuff because computers nowadays were are much better than what we used to have back in uh, in 20 years ago or something like that. So on the size coding, we've seen a lot more stuff now in higher resolution. Tomcat did a few of those as well, so he yes, can't yeah. let me lie. Uh, last question that we have, what is your favorite or most underrated intro in this category? Tomcat. Okay. For me, the... Uh... Most a favorite and uh, most underrated is the same because I like so much the <laughs> intro period from Rola, so I think it's underrated. Uh, it's it's fantastic. Uh, it's ray tracing, uh, the morph. Uh, I I like it very much, and uh, I think it was a good technical achievement. Uh, it 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 would deserve the meteoric award i think mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. really good release i really like that one as well helmut what about you there are so many uh, good stuff in this uh, category i wouldn't have a clear favorite as there are too is there's too much good stuff but i want to especially like i, I want to uh, instead of giving one favorite i want just to to invite everybody just go to poor or demo zoo and just look at it yourself and uh, go for the older ones like uh, go back to the 2000 and around this and watch what people did then, because uh, I think there is stuff going on which is different from now. Like today and today's um, productions, you have multiple effects and you can do a lot of effects uh, apparently. But the things from early on, like from 20 years ago, they look better. They have better colors. They have better texture. They are more smooth and they just look more re realistic. And uh, one effect which I would say is the most underrated, which comes to my mind, like when I was thinking about the question, the first thing in my mind was warmy from uh, Tube27 and ByteWay. It's just a wormhole effect, but if you look at it in the first time, and if you let it run on a real system, it looks so realistic. Like It looks like there's shadows and lights going on. And it's just a simple effect. And this is what I mean. This is um, the magic of what an effect ca can achieve. And I think we have um, we have lost it a, that a bit. It's like a, a special style we have not uh, around anymore. And I think we um, this is um, this is uh, one of the representatives for, for that style is warming. I, th I think we started to see like a rejuvenescence of of the size coding scene and and what you said reflects that a lot that in the 90s people were experimenting with a lot of different things that they didn't have the speed and now it's like people are rediscovering those things and reinventing those things and it's very interesting to see the evolution and the contrast between uh, both times uh, I think that's about it uh, we're about to see the the compo for the 250 say, 256 byte high end category. Uh, anything else you would like to add, Helmut Tomcat, about this category in particular? 
maybe I can choose another intros for the most unknown intros. Uh, Go for it. Which is uh, underrated as well, of course. Uh, in, the, in this case, I choose Do Not by Gargai. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was in revision, uh, not revision, uh, rear wash. Uh, or I can choose from my intros, which is most underrated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, I think it's Pokeball. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so please enjoy the 256 byte high end intro combo. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.